Hello. Well, actually, I'm going to start with over to you. When you hear about transition to school, what are some words that come to mind? When we're looking at readiness for school, what are some qualities or some things you think children need to have to graduate into Prep 1? Now, social distancing, I can't get too close to you. So call out. What are some words that you think your children need to be ready for school? I heard something. Call it out. Independence. Fantastic. Some other words? Confidence. Excellent. Some other words? Creativity. Fantastic. They are some of the concepts, some of the skills I'm going to talk about today. So my name is Jacqueline McNulty and I'm very proud to be the founding principal for Melbourne College Preschools. Let me talk about our beautiful school. Now we come to you from Malvern College UK. We have a 155 year history of excellence in the town of Malvern. Hands up if you've been, anyone been to Malvern? It's a beautiful school, you can see it on the slide. Now it is one of the top schools in the world, one of the top schools in the UK, always ranked in the top 10%. We have a 155 year history of excellence and what we do really well is focus on the individual pupil. We do focus on academic excellence, but we do focus on the pastoral, on the sports, on arts and creativity. And here's our beautiful preschool in Kowloon. We've opened now for four years and we opened with almost straight away having a full um, full attendance. Our classes were full and with a wait list. We have a beautiful preschool. Both our preschools, we've got another one in Island West on Hong Kong Island. So you can see, we truly believe the environment is the third teacher. A huge 8,000 square feet space. Lots of room for what we've just mentioned. Creativity, collaboration and inquiry, which are really important skills that I'll talk about today. Now, we are truly Melvin UK. You can see Mr. Keith Metcalf on the slide. He is the headmaster of Melvin College UK. He visits us regularly. Melbourne College UK also has a forest beach, well, not a beach school, but a forest school. Hands up if you know about forest schools. Another really important part of Melbourne College. We also have Melbourne UK. Can you see the steam train? The, the pupils run the steam train around the property of the school. They work the mechanics, they do the timetable, they do the scheduling. Another way we encourage innovation. You'll see we have truly Malvern UK. So even though we're in Hong Kong, we work together, we collaborate together, we lead together. And I think that's really important. We're connected very much with, uh, with compliance, uh, with inspections, with our mission, vision and values. I think that's really cru crucial. Now, we're very fortunate in Hong Kong with the two preschools. Uh, we've got Island West on Hong Kong Island, which is now two years old. The Coronation Circle Kowloon Campus, which is four years old. But we have a big sister in Hong Kong. Now, our big sister, hands up if you know about our big sister. Our big sister school is in, uh, very, very close, it's in Taipo at the Science Park and it opened in 2018. And for two years in a row, it's been awarded best all through school in its first year of operation and in, in its second year of operation. It's a fantastic school and our pupils from the preschool can graduate and articulate up to prep one. I'll be talking about transitioning, an important part of school readiness. An excellent school, world leading facilities. You'll see the library, small class ratios, excellent teachers, and we've got currently approximately 800 pupils, but they'll move up. So every year uh, we launched and we go up, we articulate up to a year until they'll go up to 
the hundred, what we call the hundred. So prep one all the way up to high school. A beautiful school. We do take tours if you are interested. You can book a tour and we'll take you through. So this is our newest member of the family on Hong Kong Island. And you'll see at the top, Coronation Circle at Kowloon. So our preschool, I believe, is really special. We are based on the Early Years Foundation Stage curriculum, which is called the EYFS. We do something really well. We're very academic. I'll, I'll say the EYFS is very academic in that it's got very clear learning objectives, but we're also very play-based. So how we reach those learning objectives is through hands-on, inquiry-based learning. Really important. We believe in play. We believe in following the interests of the child. We believe every child is an individual. Every child has different interests. Every child has different needs. And we tailor the program to the individual. We're also very special because we are bilingual. The preschool, 50% English, 50% Mandarin. And you'll see how the EYFS is holistically balanced. Academically rigorous, but lots of wonderful, rich learning objectives. So you'll see, we look at the prime areas, and all these areas help the child get ready for school. Because we do believe in academic readiness, but you'll see the prime areas support the personal, social, and emotional areas. Before we write, we need our fine motor skills. Before we can sit at a desk, we need our gross motor skills. We need our core. We need to help develop listening and attention. Confidence with speaking and listening. So they're really important areas to help our children get ready for school. You'll see we do focus a lot on maths, number, space, shape, measures, literacy. And the slides I'll show you will unpack these further. But it's a wonderful, rich curriculum. And you'll see the principles that we believe how children learn these academic objectives, playing and exploring, active learning, creating and thinking critically. So let's have a look. Let's unpack this quickly. So I went through and looked at our curriculum objectives and the primary objectives. Now you'll see this alignment. So the PYP is the primary years program and our Melbourne College Sister School follows the PYP. So when our K2 pupils graduate up into Prep 1 at our Big Sister School or any school they choose to go to, we have that academic readiness the conceptual understanding, very, very strong. And you'll see some of our maths objectives there. We do give a good understanding of shape and space. But a multi-sensory, hands-on, play-based inquiry approach. Here you'll see number. So there's our teacher. Remember, we teach bilingually. This is one of our amazing Mandarin teachers. And she will unpack that objective through the input time. She'll demonstrate it. She'll explain it. There'll be a fun game, a song. So they really have a clear understanding of the concept. And here she's teaching 3D shapes. Then, in discovery time, they're playing in the maths area. They might have a play-based task, go on a shape hunt. So they're exploring, unpacking, inquiring into these concepts in a multi-sensory way. Science, we prepare children whatever curriculum they enter. And we call that understanding the world. In prep one, it's often called science. Have a look at the alignment looking at living things, looking at the different features. Here they're looking at the skeleton on the light table with bones. Hands-on, multi-sensory inquiry, collaboration, critical thinking.
in a play-based approach. It's fun, it's engaging, it's how children learn best, it's how they remember, how they analyse knowledge, how they retain knowledge, and that deeper level thinking, which is so important. Helping children create a love of learning. Here's our level three Forest Beach school leader, which I'm eager to get to because I know that's a very important part of my talk. So our level three Forest Beach school leader is exclusive for Malvern College preschools. We're the only preschool in Hong Kong to have Forest Beach school. The only preschool. Every pupil goes to Forest Beach school one day per fortnight. So we've had some indoor Forest Beach school because of the uh, restrictions at the moment. But have a look what Miss Claire was doing. The children were interested in mini bees. They were really interested in worms. She brought real worms into the preschool. They were looking at how worms help us compost, break down nutrients. Lots of big science concepts unpacked. They asked fantastic questions. They inquired. They researched, they collaborated, they had critical thinking. And then they created a leaf mini beast. They played games relating to mini beasts. But at the same time, look at all the skills they were developing. Fine motor skills, learning about parts of the worm. They went on to recreating worms using stockings and rubber bands. They had a story about worms and some songs. What a rich learning experience. So many concepts and skills. Of course, PE, physical development, again, holistically balanced. We have a great PE program, PE rooms, but also Forest Beach School, where they're going out and exercising and creating and building and developing their gross motor skills. We do yoga, brain gym, all sorts of things because children need these skills to perform at school. If a child has low tone, they're not going to sit very well at their desk. If they don't have fine motor, they can't hold a pencil to write. We're building all these skills for our children. Reading are very important before they start prep one. This, these are our K2 children. And don't forget in Mandarin and in English. Phonics, sight words, but in a fun play-based way. Looking at phonemes and graphemes, the letters, the letter sounds. We have achieved outstanding results in reading, writing, speaking and listening for English and in Mandarin through our teaching approach. Excellent teachers. We're future focused. Now, let's think about that. We're currently preparing students for jobs and technologies that don't yet exist in order to solve problems that we don't even know are problems yet. What skills do they need for the future? Have a look. 21st century skills. And that was fantastic to hear that you value these skills too. Critical thinking, problem solving. The skills on the left were really important when I went to school. But we look at modern education, schools for the future. These are the skills we need to be helping and teaching our children. This is the school you need to look for to help your child succeed. Leadership. Innovation, creativity, self-direction, social responsibility, teamwork, collaboration, oral communication, written communication. Let's look at how we do that at Melbourne College. Now, we have a very strong emphasis on the pastoral, on children feeling safe, happy, and confident. When children feel good about themselves, they can reach their full potential. But we have to teach that, we have to model it, we have to show them, demonstrate. We want them to be ambitious, we want them to take risks, but we also want them to be kind, be resilient, collaborate. So these are in every Melvin College school. Melvin College UK, Melvin College Hong Kong, Melvin College Egypt. And we really embed these through our Forest Beach School. Again, we're the only preschool in Hong Kong to have a world-leading 
UK trained, level three, Forest Beach School. We have two Forest Beach School sites. Every people goes out one day per fortnight. Makes us very, very special. Level three. So we've got two sites in Saigon. Let's have a look. We have got a lot of attention about our Forest Beach School internationally and through Hong Kong. We're very proud to talk about our Forest Beach School program. It does prepare children very well for school. All the staff at Melbourne College across both our schools are level one Forest Beach School trained. Miss Claire is level three, the highest level, and she is a UK trained Forest Beach School leader. So Forest Beach School, it's a very special hands-on approach in the great outdoors, and we're really taking all those rich academic objectives, and we're re which we're teaching inside the preschool, but we're reinforcing them out in the Forest Beach School. Let's see some examples to have a look. The benefits of playing outside, confidence, independence, empathy for others and nature. When children learn about nature, they care about nature. When they care about nature, they're going to want to save it. Definitely sustainability will be something that is valued now, but even more when our children are the problem solvers of the future. Having a look, physical development, risk taking, learning by experience, and the health benefits. Especially so at the moment, we know vitamin D with the immune system. We know physical exercise on mental health. Critical at the moment, we have Forest Beach School, critical. Let's have a look. So we looked at those 21st century skills. Keep those in your mind and have a look. What was valued? One of those skills was oral language. Sharing stories, talking, listening, collaboration, working together as a team. These, these are all photos from Melbourne College Forest, Forest Beach School. We share these with our parents through our newsletters and we tease these out. We talk about what they're investigating. They were looking at fish and the crabs, ecosystems. So interesting. They can read about it in a book, but how much more interesting when you've got Forest Beach School and you're doing it, you're seeing it, you're touching it, you're smelling it. How engaging. And you can make real connections to the theory and to the book, because you've seen it. Problem solving, these are our two-year-olds. Our two-year-olds go to Forest Beach School. Look at the smiles, the confidence, gross motor skills, balancing, getting confidence in themselves leads to other benefits in all areas of learning. Ambition, remember those qualities. Independence. We do use real wood and hammers in a very safe way. Kindness. One of our Forest Beach schools has um, a goat. We have a rabbit. They're learning about being kind to animals. Social responsibility. How can we keep care for our environment? Innovation. We have a science station where they're mixing and making potions, measuring the maths happening science concepts, materials and matter. Curiosity, these are our two-year-olds again. Written communication, we put the writing tools out in the Forest Beach School. Children who might be a little bit reluctant to write at school, once they're out in the great outdoors with that motivation and interest, we harness that and we see that great links to literacy. Teamwork. Remember 21st century learning skills? Risk taking. Look at that smile on that little boy. Self direction. Critical thinking. Those powers of observation. 
just a snapshot. Now, we do really, are very fortunate being part of the Melvin family. We have that ease of transition. Our pupils go in to Melvin College Hong Kong or any school of your choice with confidence, with academic readiness, with social and emotional readiness, with a love of learning, and with curiosity inquiry and critical thinking. We also have some transition opportunities, handover, tours, orientation week. We have graduation in the theater of the big school. We work with the teachers. We have meetings together. Our children have priority um, and they go in with such confidence. They know the school so well. The school knows them so well. Prep one teachers visit us. We visit them. They get to they get to work in prep one, before prep one. They get to go and spend time in the classroom. All of these things, they're running into school in prep one, so happy, so confident. They're not scared. The best classroom and richest cupboard is roofed only by the sky. Okay, I hope that gave you an understanding of our academic curriculum, preparing children for prep one, our social and emotional skills and how we support children gaining confidence to enter prep one the love of learning they have and those 21st century learning skills remembering collaboration communication inquiry critical thinking they are the most important skills we need to facilitate encourage support teach model re reinforce and that's what we do at Melbourne College Preschool via our wonderful teachers via our learning environment via our EYFS curriculum, and also through our very special Forest Beach School program. Hands up if you love Forest Beach School. <laughs> I often, um, I've got one dad that he books himself off work and he says, Mrs. McNulty, I need Forest Beach School. I need it. Um, it's, it's a wonderful opportunity. Parents can come along. Uh, one parent has a rota every two weeks, mum comes, and then the next two weeks dad comes, the next two weeks grandma comes, the next two weeks the helper comes, because they all want to come. So we welcome you to come along. It is very special. Thank you so much.